Hey, Coach Matt here with Capital Strength, and today I want to talk about the biggest mistake or weakness that people have with their push-ups, and it really prevents them from getting the first push-up, and let alone trying to progress on to getting a one-arm push-up. And most people think that a push-up is a, an exercise for the upper body, and it definitely is, but it's also a core exercise. And we want to make sure that our core is in the right position and braced properly. And so, what you want to do is maybe start on an elevated position to make it a little bit easier. And start with your butt a little high, almost in a bad position. And what we want to do is tuck your tail and squeeze your butt really, really tight. This is known as a posterior tilt. And what this does is it lets your glutes and your abs work together to lock your legs into your hips and really stabilize your abs. And so when I come down, my abs stay real tight, I can push right up. You can definitely know if you suffer from this position, or not be able to get this position, if your chest rises before your body and your back starts to arch like that. That means that your core is lengthening and it's not staying tight. So again, set up in a push-up position, tuck your tail, squeeze your butt really tight, and brace your abs, and hold that tight as you lower yourself, and push right back up. Another uh, weakness that people have in their push-up is not controlling their scapular position. And when we do the push-up, we go down, we want to tuck our elbows slightly and squeeze our shoulder blades back and together. And then as we return back up, we spread those shoulder blades and come all the way up. What that looks like is taking about a shoulder width grip, maybe a little wider, bend your, tuck your elbows just a little bit, squeeze your shoulder blades together, touch them together at the bottom, and then push them all the way apart. Don't stop here, push them all the way up. So squeeze them together, and then all the way back apart. Cool. If you master those two positions, the core position and your scapular position, this will really help you master the push-up.